Hi, I'm Steve Dale here at the ACVIM Forum and the Canadian VMA Convention in Montreal, Canada. Dr. Kenny Simpson is at Cornell and is a specialist in internal medicine. And what you're working on is really very important. Uh, lots and lots of people have Crohn's disease or a condition that is generally described in much the same way. Lots of people. You're uh, you're, you're out about helping these people and helping dogs at the same time. Explain what this is about. So my, my primary interest that initially was with, with the dogs and we found that the boxer dogs who get a severe form of colitis actually have bacteria within their colon and if we treat these boxer dogs with antibiotics they actually get better. And this was kind of a big deal because for years we immunosuppressed them and, and, and suppressed the immune system and they didn't do very well and now by changing therapy and eradicating these bacteria the dogs do quite well. And we think we, the dogs have a genetic susceptibility that makes them predisposed to not being able to kill this, this type of bacteria and if we help them kill the bacteria they can go into remission. And when we cultured the bacteria, what we found was they were very similar in the way they behave in cells and the genes they have to a group of bacteria described by a wonderful French lady, Arlette Darfie Michaud, um, who described a group of adherent and invasive E. coli in the ilium of about a third of people with Crohn's disease. I, I want to stop you there only because, uh, for those who don't know, explain what Crohn's disease is. So Crohn's disease is, in, t in terms of bowel disease in people, inflammatory bowel disease, there's sort of proximal diseases like celiac disease that is diet responsive. And the distal diseases, and um, to generalize, tend to be Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And Crohn's disease is characterized by chronic granulomatous inflammation that may involve the colon, frequently the ileum, which is the distal small intestine. Ulcerative colitis just involves the, the, the colon, and it's an ulcerative disease, whereas Crohn's disease is a chronic granulomatous inflammation where there's macrophages. Many people go on to need surgery um, because they get fistulas and stenosis, and, and it's not a nice disease to have. And, and Crohn's disease and related sorts of inflammatory bowel issues for, yes. for a general way to put this, I don't know if it's being diagnosed more or talked about more or just trendy at the moment, but, but it seems as though we're hearing more about yes. it. Yes, and the reason you're hearing more about it is it seems to be increasing in frequency and there was some nice talks recently, it seems to be increasing sort of almost parallel, increasing in, in airway reactivity and eczema and Crohn's disease, the inflammatory bowel disease, seem to be going up in the sort of um, cleaner parts of the world, particularly the northern um, really? hemisphere countries. And there's, there's a great deal of work going on to say, what, why is that? Is it something in the environment? What, what's biasing that? But Crohn's disease does seem to be becoming more prevalent, inflammatory bowel disease. In people? Yes. How about in dogs? So in dogs, the boxer dogs, it's a very sporadic condition in boxer dogs. And the boxer dogs, we think from recent work we've done, it's, it's, it's inherited as an autosomal recessive, which means you know very few dogs will, will actually have it. But the, the nice thing is when we think of inflammatory bowel disease, the reason it's thought people get inflammatory bowel disease is they have a genetic predisposition, and then there's an environmental trigger, which in the right combination in a susceptible individual can lead to chronic inflammation. And bacteria are thought to be one of the driving factors in that, in that chronic in inflammatory stimulus. And um, so the same type of E. coli that we see in boxer dogs, they haven't really been described in the same detail within macrophages and the people with Crohn's. There are some nice studies that show you can find E. coli in lymph nodes in people with, with Crohn's disease and that people, a subset of people with Crohn's disease, particularly involving the ileum, actually have antibodies to E. coli. And so one of our thoughts is, and there's growing work with using these new culture independent techniques where you can sequence and, and compare the flora, that maybe this abnormal proliferation of E. coli or presence of a, a bacteria that's there, usually in a normal, sm very small amount, if it proliferates and can take advantage of the susceptible host, it can cause inflammation. And we, we think the same thing is true in dogs, but it's much less frequent in, in, in dogs. We just see this disease typically in, in, in uh, boxer dogs. Interesting stuff, and you can learn more about that. And find a specialist near you at acvim.org. Thank you, Dr. Simpson.